Hi, I'm Daniel Fisher here at Sweetwater Sound, and today we're going to show you seven stocking stuffer scents. Seven stocking stuffer. So we picked these seven stocking stuffer synths because uh, they're small enough to fit in a chimney stocking and uh, they're low to low mid priced, uh, but they are real synthesizers. Some are analog, some are digital, but each one of them are a great way to get started with synthesis. And then after someone gets more involved, they're actually professional instruments as small as they are. Uh, that they can be incorporated with the rest of a more complex synthesizer rig, whether that's connecting to a computer, connecting to each other, um, adding different controllers, things like that. So they really are pro synths. And today we're just going to do the littlest touch of each of the sounds of them. Uh, but if you want to learn more about any particular synth, we're going to have links for every one of these synths and this controller. So we'll start with the Craft Synth 2.0 by Modal. Uh, this is a low to mid low price synth. Um, and its size really belies how powerful it is. It has up to eight oscillators, uh, it has 40 different wave types, uh, it has very powerful filters, it has three envelopes, it can do uh, much, much more than you would normally do from the front panel simply by connecting the keyboard to it. Um, but it's a great starter synth, like I said, and it has tremendous sounds, and because of how many oscillators it has, it can be very, very fat. The next synth is the Arturia Microfreak. It is a great starting synth and it's also a great pro synth. It actually has 12 different kinds of synthesis in here so you can learn a lot. Um, it has lots of modulation possibilities because of this matrix up here. And the keyboard is very interesting in that it senses how much of your skin is on each key and you can use that to modulate things. 
it has a sequencer, it has an arpeggiator, and like all of these can be run from an external keyboard so you could play with a full range keyboard. The next is the Uno synth. This is a true analog synth with two oscillators, a uh, really nice filter, it's got delay, and then it has a little touch sensitive keypad that's actually a little bit more in two octaves, and it also has a sequencer and an arpeggiator. Lots to do with this one. It's also got delay, um, and the sequencer can memorize the position of knobs for every step, and like almost all of these, you can connect it to a computer and do editing from the screen as well. You can also do MIDI via USB uh, or the little jacks in the front, uh, a great synth. Next is the Sculpt Synthesizer by Modal, and this is another one of those where the size is completely belying how powerful it is. Uh, it is a four voice synth, but you can have up to eight oscillators per voice, so 32 oscillators. Extremely big and fat. It has a touch keyboard, but again, like everything else, you can run MIDI into it. Um, it's got effects, it's got an arpeggiator, it's got a sequencer. Uh, just an all around great synth. It can do several different styles of synthesis, including FM, it can do pulse width modulation. Uh, exciting stuff. It also comes with a cover that you can put on the top and you can take it off and put it on the bottom if you want to have it lifted up a little bit. The next is the Roland JU-06A. This is one of Roland's boutique line, and this one is emulating both the Juno 60 and the Juno 106, both really famous and, and very much loved synthesizers. Um, it has all of the features, including the DCO with uh, the saw wave and a square that can do pulse width modulation. Uh, it's got the high pass filter, the low pass filter with the envelopes. Um, and you have a switch that lets you switch between the Juno 60 behavior or the Juno 106. It's got an arpeggiator, it's got a sequencer with 16 steps and 16 of those. It's got the famous chorus that has the one and two or both choices and a delay as well. Next is the NewTek NTS-1 by Korg. It's a very cool little digital synth that's a do-it-yourself kit. So it comes in pieces, you snap it together, you screw different parts together. Nothing really complicated, but it's kind of fun that you built something on your own. And when you're done, you have something that looks 
much simpler than it is. You have the little ribbon keyboard, but again, like all the rest of them, they can be controlled by an external MIDI controller. Uh, but it has really amazing oscillator options in that the oscillator comes from the Prolog and Minilog series and the effects come from there as well. So you've got powerful modulation effects and delays and reverbs and whatever button you touch, these three knobs then control that. So there's a lot to do on this. Uh, there's a nice arpeggiator and like I said, it's, it's very small. But as you probably hear from the demo, it's one of the most interesting because of how much effects that it has. The next one is the Volca New Bass by Korg. And this is, of course, from their Volca series. And this one is dedicated primarily to bass. It can do some other things, but it's just really, really good at doing bass. And it's using tubes. And you think, how do you get tubes inside of something this small? Uh, and instead of having the kind of tubes you would see in a guitar amp, they've managed to shrink a tube down to a circuit board size, and they have two of them in here. The first tube is used to make your main oscillator, which allows you to have either a square wave or a sawtooth wave. And the second tube is adding the sub-octave along with overdrive distortion, give you real fat, girthy sounds. And the whole thing also has a drive control and a tone control to get just a big, fat, dirty sound if you want it, or a really punchy, clean sound, or anything in between. It has a built-in 16-step sequencer, and you can chain patterns to build up an entire song. You've got a step mode, you've got accents, you've got slides, all the things you would want in a step sequence based device. And you can also do motion sequence, so you can be moving knobs and storing that as part of the sequence. Very, very powerful, very, very fat, and like all the rest of them, can use MIDI uh, to use external controllers or computer to record sequences on. And the last thing that's not one of the seven synths is the Arturia key step controller and sequencer. And I'm using it mostly, I was using it to control the Roland, uh, but it's a great controller that can run any of these devices or pretty much any uh, DAW or whatever you want. It'll do USB, it has MIDI, um, and instead of just being a keyboard, it also has a sequencer, it also has an arpeggiator, and even though it's two and a half octaves, it's actually much wider than that because it has a huge range with the octave buttons. <laughs> So you can get the full range on that. And so I just want to tell you a little about that. And again, for all of these things, this is just a quick introduction to each of these to give you an idea for stocking stuffers. If any of them appeal to you, we're going to have links to every single one of these on our page with much more detailed information and pictures and videos. Uh, so if you have any questions there, go to those. And if you have any more specific questions, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. They'd be happy to help you out with all of these gift ideas. My name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you very much for watching. <music>